Hello and welcome to tutorial 12. In this tutorial, we're moving now to the next type of correction. Okay, it will be curvature correction. In the previous one, we addressed the uh, production limiter. Okay, so this is the other important one. Remember that there are many, these models, the edit viscosity models, they have many deficiencies or limitations that they can be overcome by adding a small modification, but these two are the most important ones. Okay, so here we have three different cases, okay, very interesting cases, and basically I add three different cases because this is not clear to see what, what this curvature correction is doing, so we have three different scenarios where we're going to see the, the effect of the curvature correction. Okay, so um, let's see what, what is about the, this case, but also remind, uh, remind you that in, in the in the material, you will see that we address a little bit briefly the theory. Okay, so you have the production limiter, but also the curvature correction. Okay, so and something important about this curvature correction. So the production limiter is doing this one. Okay, you put this limiter here. This is the coefficient. Okay, and it's doing some clipping. In the curvature correction, basically, uh, a little bit in a short is doing this. Okay, so see that here you have these two terms. These two terms are related to the strain rate and the spin tensor, okay? So though that the, the strain rate is influenced strongly by all the derivatives that we have when you have concentrated vorticity, that kind of stuff, it can be strongly influenced and is sensitive to that, okay? So all that, is, all, all those effects are, are included in something that is called curvature correction, but not necessarily surface curvature can be concentrated, a concentrated vorticity Okay, or rapid change in, in, in <clears throat> rapid change according to the velocity gradients of of, 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 the, of the turning quantities. Okay, so I always advise you to read the documentation. Okay, so here I open it. <clears throat> Fluid documentation. So see here that probably you have a little bit longer explanation, but it's this curvature correction. But basically, see that here you have these two. Uh, quantities and see that they, they depend on so strain range and the spin tensor. Okay, and according to that, it will do some correction like something similar in the uh, production limiter. So, with that being said, let's see the first case the curved channel. Okay, so let me introduce this case again. It's a validation case. Here you have the reference, you can find it. It's actually a PhD thesis. It's a little bit old, but very valid. So basically what we have here is this one. So this will be kind of geometry, equivalent to geometry curvature. So see that we have the channel and basically we're taking a section here. Okay, you have the influence of the curvature and we're going to, to compare with the experimental results. Okay, so it's clearly that the velocity profile it will be influenced by this curvature, okay? And th that is what we are going to see. So see that we have a small section of that pipe, okay? So here we're going to do the sampling, the velocity samplings, and then we have just the flow going this way. So see that we have a nice mesh, a wall-resolving wall mesh. Okay, so this should be wall-resolving mesh. And this is what we have, the quantities, okay? So we're normalizing the quantities, okay? So <clears throat> here we have this cost... Uh, <coughs> custom function, okay, non-dimensional velocity. And here we have non-dimensional radial distance, how it was computed, okay. And what is interesting that here, okay, so in this case, okay, here, let's say that we have curvature correction disabled and curvature correction enabled. And see the difference in the profiles, okay. So it's, they are very, very different, okay. And the same, well, we plot the node and see that when you disable that, curvature correction, it tends to be very uniform, okay? So that is the, in this case, is the influence. When you have curvature, this velocity profile should have the tendency to concentrate more turbulence toward the outer wall, okay? But see, when you disable that one, it, it tends to, to, to remain a little bit symmetric, okay? So this is the, in this case, this is what, what it's doing, okay? Again, there is a strong influence of the strain rate and the spin tensor, okay? So what, is, what this curvature correction is doing is just monitoring that and adding, you know, modifying the behavior of turbulence model according to those corrections. And also we have here experimental data and see the comparison, okay? So look at the experimental data and the numerical simulation, so disable and enable, and clearly, 
see the difference between these two profiles, okay? So this correlator correction also have a coefficient, and so depending on how you choose that value, you will have different an effect here in, in the outcome, okay? But you said a value of one is a recommended value, okay? And then also we can run without this curator correction. For instance, the Reynolds stress model, you don't need to do that. So see that we have this behavior, okay, that kind of tends to replicate with some, with some differences, okay, but it tends to replicate these results. Also, we can say regarding the, the, the experiments that that is a very old experiment. So probably it wasn't that accurate. Okay, so who knows? Okay, but in any case, we have the, 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 the trends, the behavior, similar trends, similar behaviors. Okay, and again, different turbulence models regarding no readiness stress, we have different behaviors. So that's all for the introduction of this case. And remember when you download the cases, you're going to have the core channel, okay? The influent cases, you have different cases there. Okay, this is a very inexpensive case. You have measures and validation data and papers. So that's all for, for the moment. See you next video, bye.